Hello, and welcome to Let Me Be Frank. I'm Frank. Hi, and it's Jack again. And we're talking about La La Land. Uh, we saw it last night. So Watched it last night. So it's very fresh in our minds. Uh, and we wanted to talk about uh, this, actually, one of the most nominated uh, movies of this past year so far. Definitely uh, during all this award season. It's definitely one of the more up there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, two, talked it's, about a lot. In 2016 movies, this is definitely, like, for for movies that are going to win uh, awards. I'm not saying Oscars. I'm saying it won Golden Globes. It, it already won a bunch of other stuff. Uh, at this point. Yeah, yeah at this point. Um, it's this and Manchester by the Sea that seem to be competing for, <laughs> so, for the yeah. front uh, as being, like, the most serious films of the year moving forward. Um, but I, I really want to talk about this film because I was really excited for this film, um... For two reasons. One, it's the next film from the director of Whiplash, Damien Chazelle. He's a he's a great director. Whiplash was a masterpiece of movies. And if you have not seen it, do yourself the favor and also the not favor of seeing that movie. Because it's a very stressful movie. It's one of those movies that will make you feel stress for the character. Because it's so just stressful. <laughs> you and J.K. Simmons is fantastic in it. But like coming off of a masterpiece... Uh, that's so personal to himself uh, because he did a short film of Whiplash and then he did the feature film. So like this is his first branching out into uh, whatever he wants to do, and I think it I think it shows in this is that it's kind of like he's got the budget now and he's got the car- the actors that he wants and he can really just like slam forward with a with a really cool film. I think this film overall is just a is, is a really cool film. But before I get into review, two things. So yes, Damien Chazelle for Whiplash, and two, uh, Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone being gorgeous. Oh, the, the actors. Movie. I mean, yeah, like the, I think of great acting choices. Yeah. Great beautiful casting. people being beautiful. Great casting. It couldn't have been better. I no. can't think of two people who would have done a better job. I mean, sure, it could have been someone else, but if these two pull it out for this film. Exactly. And they. what's amazing about this film is how much... The actors did themselves. In a musical, you kind of expect in this day and age a lot of helping. A lot of uh, somebody singing for them instead. Or, you know, like somebody doing the dancing for them instead. No, apparently it's all them. It's par- apparently for majority of this film, it is all them. Um, the uh, They were saying Emma Stone sang all of her stuff. And of course, Ryan Gosling did too. Ryan Gosling learned all the piano pieces for this. And if you watch this film, it's... A lot. It's like a lot of of fantastic piano too. Like really well done, cool piano pieces. And they say that there was no hand doubles or CGI. Ryan Gosling learned it before and played it. That's crazy. I don't even believe it. It looks real. It looks real, so I believe it. But like, I, I... It's so good. It, it is. It's fantastic. It almost doesn't seem real. That's almost like the best part of the movie is the piano pieces. It, exactly. And, and it doesn't seem real. And, and even the dancing sh- parts, like, you can't even say that it's a double because the shot is one shot for the entire time. That's, it's like, Damien Chazelle's really just showing his chops here for directing. Like, there's, there's fantastically directed things. There's, there's, the, the the scenes are all well choreographed. The 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 dance sequences are are so well planned. The camera moves with such grace through scenes. And there's these classic, kind of nostalgic scenes where it's like they won't cut and they'll just keep the the camera open like a musical and just with like these backgrounds. and let them play. You know, like yeah, let the people seems, dance. It seems like a musical, like classic musical, where there's a background and there's just a scene. Yeah, and in, in there's just this one scene in this one setting. It's, they even, it seems weird, but it, it's classic musical. Really, like I mean, Jack was saying, it was like he was he felt like it was kind of like Mary Poppins. I said yeah. it's it's more like a Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers film. Is that like definitely that, brings you back to those movies of exactly like, where it's just like a love story and the, with a musical, you know, like it's like uh, because there's not much more going on here, you know, like other the story of these two people living in Hollywood. Yeah, like if you want to talk about the 
the plot. That's, the plot's simple. Even on IMBD, they, they list the, the plot as just a jazz pianist falls for an aspiring actress in Los Angeles. That's, that's it. it. And that pretty much sums it all up. That's the movie. That's the movie. If you that's know, what like, you're looking for, that's it. Yeah, and, like, and that's And you have to know that kind of going into this because if you're going in being like, ah, yes, I bet this will be deep and, 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 and touch me. No, and it, it's and not too deep. It's not too deep. But at the same time, I feel like it touches those emotional moments that we can all kind of see or we feel it works with or, the musical yeah, it works with the musical i'm gonna kind of wrap it up uh you want to give some of your final thoughts on this film uh, i mean it was entertaining that's for sure mm-hmm. definitely an entertaining movie that's the whole purpose of a movie <laughs> so for that aspect yeah it was definitely a good musical it yeah was definitely i love the acting and like i mean the story wasn't great but hey i enjoyed it exactly i mean i would i would give it high praise for what it is exactly i give it for actually being getting awards i'm like proud of it yeah because it it, could have been missed out on exactly and the and the directing i think alone deserves some of that some of the awards you know like the the some of those scenes are so well they just move you know like the actors move in and out the the sets move the, the 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 scenes blend it all just it sings. You know, that's a stupid way to say it in a musical. No, but it, but all, it, it all just sings, you know? Yeah, like, it and all I think flows. that's kind of my little sum of it is that, like, it all works, uh, even though parts of it aren't the best, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, there's the whole thing sings, d- but does it win, uh, you know? Does it, is it a perfect 10? No. no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm going to have to give this one a 9. Um, or, give or, it a 9. That's, like, that's high. That, that's very high because I. I think that this is an exceptional director. Damien uh, Chazelle, he did fantastic with Whip, Whip, Whiplash. And I would almost give Whiplash like a 9.5, 10-ish. Like it's so, wow. it's so that good. Um, and I think that that one was missed out. So he deserves stuff for La La Land for being just as fantastically directed and, and acted. You know, like it deserves, it deserves some awards. I don't know if it deserves every award no. like it did at the Globes. But it definitely deserves... A few at would, the Oscars. I would give it a seven or eight, closer yeah. to eight, because it's really good. It is really good. It's just it's really well done. Yeah, and I think I'm I'm just having a more like I don't know. You if just my, saw it. Yeah, if I don't know if my score is really high because of my nostalgia for I'm a my grandmother introduced me to Fred Astaire movies when I was very young and I love them. Like they're, it's they're nostalgia for you. Yeah, for for me, it's like the movie was a whole nostalgia thing and I just felt like it was great and there was and the ending was really well done. I mean, we won't spoil it, but like the ending was just like what? Yeah, you know, and it like brings it all together. You're, you're like holy it. crap. And uh and I think that there's definitely I, I don't think it's a perfect film and like some days I'll maybe bring it down to an 8.5 but for me right now with that nostalgia factor with the great acting and the great directing I think it's got to be a 9 for me and I think it's got to be one of the better films of 2016 definitely deserves um, the awards definitely, coming out definitely worth seeing guys if you are a musical fan at all or you're a fan of Ryan Gosling or Emma Stone do yourself a favor and see it. Do yourself a favor. <laughs> um, thank you guys for tuning in. These are our little short reviews of one movies. We want to keep them around 15 minutes or 10 minutes. You know, like we want to just keep do them short. Shorter than a podcast, but you know. Yeah, still a review. Review. Uh, at some point, we want to live stream these on, you'll so you'll see our little pretty faces when on we YouTube do YouTube or when Facebook. We, when we do these reviews. Uh, but only the reviews, not the podcast. The podcast will stay audio only, but the, the reviews I want to be on camera at some point. But right now, we'll just do audio only, and I hope you enjoy our sensuous voices. See you soon. Uh, tell us what you think of the movie. Exactly. Leave comments down below. Tell us how wrong we are down below. Yeah, for tell La us La how Land. wrong we are. How, how badly you hated this movie. Um, because I know some people don't like Ryan Gosling and don't like Emma Stone, and this won't be their movie for you. You know, yeah. like, if you don't like either of them, you'll probably hate this movie. <laughs> like, <coughs> But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. See ya. Thank you.